Hi there, Kate here, welcome back. Or if you're joining me for the first time, welcome. Here's what's going on. We all need to hear some good news, right? So I decided to share some with you each week. And this week, I asked you for some good news that you have heard this week that you wanted to be shared. Here are a few of my favorites. A wonderful woman I know from Butler University shared this with me. I discharged a COVID survivor home to a very grateful family recently after many months battle. And I got to use my foreign language skills to teach him and his family how to continue getting better at home. That is great news. Lady, one of my fierce boot campers at one of the banks I teach, shared this story with me this week. Oxford University has been working on a COVID vaccine, and that vaccine is in its third phase of human trials in Brazil. Here's hoping for continued good news and movement forward. Jeff, yes, my husband Jeff, he shared this with me on Twitter and it just warmed my heart. Brian Wallach states, my oldest daughter was two when I was diagnosed with ALS and given six months to live. One of the goals I set then was to be strong enough to hold her hand on the beach when she was five. She turned five this week. And today, I held her hand on the beach. And he continues in the comments saying, in my fight, I have turned often to John Lewis's quote, ever more resonant today. Do not get lost in a sea of despair. Be hopeful, be optimistic. My daughters give me hope. Your amazing replies and support have filled me with optimism. Here's to next year's photo. Boy, does that put things in perspective, huh? I don't know about you, but this past week I was feeling a little more blue and kind of getting my spirits down with everything. And then I read something like that, or I hear from you and your good news moments of the week, and it brings me a smile. So thank you for sharing your good news with me, and I hope that this brings a smile to your face as well. And of course I have to share in my own life. A highlight was definitely getting to Union Square Green Market this week, which was such a treat just to have that little dose of adventure for a couple of hours and I was able to support some local farmers, and I got treats for Jeff, blueberries for me, and a gorgeous bouquet of flowers. This is Kate, reminding you that there is always more good news out there. Thanks so much for watching, and for more episodes, visit bebykate.com slash some more good news. Have a great day and stay safe. This is a map of the continents of the Earth showing how much ultraviolet light lands in each latitude. It turns out the closer you are to the equator, the more intense the ultraviolet. We use reds and purples. But then as you move away from the equator, we change the colors to orange, yellow, greens, and grays. Now here's the same map of the same continents with just one color. And it turns out that everybody on Earth is descended from people that live here in Africa. And then as groups of us moved around the world, the color of our skin had to change. And here's why. Our skin is where we make vitamin D. If you don't get enough ultraviolet, you don't get enough vitamin D. But if you get too much ultraviolet, then you break down your folates. You have to have it in perfect balance. And because the ultraviolet varies, the color of our skin varies. And that's it, everybody. That's why we have different colored skin. But we're all one species. But we're not treating each other fairly. Not everybody's getting an even shake. So it's time to change things.